Welcome to Community Connections, I'm Kathy Millett. Joining us on the show today are Jeff, Corey, and Kamisha here from the Children, Youth, and Teen Programs here to talk about a special day for kids. Now tell us a little bit about this special day for kids. How did it originate? Hi Kat, thanks for having us. <laughs> Um, and it, so, Day for Kids, you know, has been around for quite some time, actually. Mm -hmm. It's affiliated with the Boys and Girls Club of America. Okay. And the idea is to t pick one Saturday of the month, in the month of September, where you can celebrate being a child and having a family and just playing, mm -hmm. having a really good time with your with kids. Just being a kid. Just being a kid. Because, you know, a lot of other countries have a special day for kids. And here in Japan, they have Children's Day, which is May right. 5th. And so this is a s similar. This is like a, a new way to start something like that. It is indeed. I mean, it's not necessarily a national holiday, but mm -hmm. maybe it'll get there at some point. Maybe someday. And we can be a part of that. <laughs> so what else is going on for Day for Kids? This is a nationwide event. This is not just here locally in Okinawa, this is celebrated everywhere. It is, you know, and in many ways the Department of Defense with the, the Children, Youth, and Teen programs do this. Um, it's not necessarily on the same Saturday because it could be any Saturday of the month okay. in September. Um, in the past, we've done many different things here in Okinawa for this program. Um, we've had uh, different cultural events in the community, we've done talent shows at this, we even tried to incorporate dances and stuff to get everybody involved, whether they're young children all the way up to the youth and teens. Okay. Um, this year what we're trying to do is something a little more focused to our school age care children. And some of the main events we've got, some of the entertainment that we have going on, is the third meth band is mm -hmm. going to come and play. Pretty cool. They're yeah. always awesome. Um, I've never met one person who doesn't enjoy their performances. Yeah, they're awesome. Um, we also have some outside schools that are going to participate and do some ASA dancing. Um, get the kids involved, drum in a little bit, have some fun that way. Okay. Uh, that timing of that is very good for September. Uh, just had some festivals mm -hmm. here in Okinawa. Yep. And then one of the other events we've got going on is there's going to be a karate demonstration. Okay. Um, that's uh, all of these events are volunteers from the community. They're going to be putting this stuff on. And then we have one final event that a parent of a McT Sack mm -hmm. uh, parent. Mm -hmm. They have how many children at McT Sack? Four. Four children at the TSAC, <laughs> so it's a pretty big family. <laughs> He's going to be doing a Zumba demonstration. Where okay. The crowd is encouraged to participate. And That's good, so everyone can get involved with this. Everyone can get involved. And get fit, stay active, yes, you know, indeed. have That's the, the kids involved. Awesome. And have fun. And have I mean, fun. That really is. The day for kids is centered around having fun, being playful, um, and enjoying life mm -hmm. with your family. There's a lot of other things going on, including free food. Oh, yes, indeed. We've got, we got barbecue hamburgers. We got hot dogs, we got some juices, we got lots of different things that are kind of family fun, barbecue picnic style stuff going on. Okay, and it's all free. It's all free. <laughs> one thing costs a cent. And this was September 21st? September 21st, From between 12 and 4. Okay. Um, I'm glad you brought that up. <laughs> so it's just, it's not too far away. Mm -hmm. September 21st, between 12 and 4 p.m. at the Community Center. At the Foster Community Center. And that's located right down the street from the Ocean Breeze restaurant. That, yes, indeed it is. Okay. And they're going to have some other events going on, some other activities? Yes, we will. Ladies, if you wouldn't mind. We are going to have a dunk tank. Okay. Um, we will, I'm still trying Who's to... going to be in the dunk tank? You know, I tried getting Mr. Ohashi to do it. <laughs> I'm still working on him. Hopefully he will, though. <laughs> He'll change his mind. If not, I'm sure one of the staff will be able to do that. Okay. And then we are going to have um, arts and craft table. Uh, with the arts and craft table, they, we have um, little tie-dye journals that they'll be making. And then we also have um, bags, little tote bags that they'll be making as well. We do have um, crafts for the smaller children where they can make the foam planes or masks. And then we'll be doing um, base painting. We're going to have some popcorn out there as well. Okay. Um, we're going to have our clown out there. Uh, he's going to be doing all kinds of little animals and stuff like that. Okay. Yeah. Anything else going on? Um, we'll have DJ Pops. He'll be there um, playing music for the children so okay. they can dance and, you know, have fun. <laughs> This sounds like a lot of fun, a whole day of, of great entertainment for the kids, and it's all free, so go out there and have fun and eat some free food and spend the whole day indoors, get away from the sun for a little bit. All right. Just a couple other quick things about the Day for Kids okay. event, because we do, everybody that's participating in this, we do have some volunteers, Okay. and we wanted to acknowledge them. Um, it's hard too many to do it individually, mm -hmm. but one individually we could do is DJ Pops. Okay. He's volunteering his time to entertain us all during the down times when the entertainment's not performing. Mm -hmm. That's pretty special. DJs can cost us quite a bit of money when we do something. So we appreciate that. But also we have a number of members of the Single Marine Program. 
going to help us set up, take down, do the barbecue. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's um, awesome. And that's pretty awesome. They've always a big help for our programs, and mm -hmm. we really do appreciate everything they do for us. Yes, thank you so much. The, I'm sorry. We do have an alternate date in the event for okay. Typhoon because oh, that it is just true. seems like the ones we pl planned in the past were always canceled because of the okay. Our alternate date will be the 28th of September, the same 28th. place at the community. Okay, so the following weekend. And then 12 to 4. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. And then you want to talk about immunizations? Yes, I do. So one big change uh, for um, children, youth, and teen programs. Mm -hmm. This is relevant for the child development centers and the school age care programs, kind of mandatory child care programs that we have is that we require um, flu vaccinations mm -hmm. influenza vaccinations and that season is fast approaching um, the hospital is going to be offering shots sometime in october okay um, and they we have a kind of a 30-day window of when the shots become available to dependents okay so generally speaking they get to the military population first mm -hmm. and then after a certain amount of time they open it up to everyone like us okay um, when that day hits we generally say 30 days from that or November 1st right now. Okay. If it winds up being November 15th, so be it. But every child enrolled in the CDC and school age care program, except for some of the infants, they have a little bit of a waiver depending mm -hmm. on how many months old they are. Okay. Um, will have to have that shot. Or when that day hits, November 1st, for mm -hmm. example, they won't be able to come and participate in programs. Um, so it's a pretty big deal. It's serious. Yeah, last year there was a little bit of a leeway because we were kind of grandfathering it in. Mm -hmm. But this year, um, it's state. mandatory. It's mandatory. That's, that's mandatory. Right. So get the flu shots and get your flu immunizations shot. up to date. Yes, ma'am. Okay, great. Thank you all so much for coming. Thank you for, Thank having, you. Us. for having us. Thank you. For more information, be sure to check out our website at mccsokinawa.com. Stay tuned right back with more MCCS TV.